Hey guys, it's Turbo here from In The Shell, and today I'm going to, well, happy Columbus Day, I must say first. However, today I'm going to rant on why it shouldn't be Columbus Day. It's just dumb. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Number one reasoning. It took him three tries to hit North America. The dude missed. He missed North America. He hit Mexico. It took him three trips to hit North America. I mean, come on. Reason number two would be, um, like, come on. He. He wasn't the first one to discover America. There was a Viking 400 years before Christopher Columbus who landed at Nova Scotia in North America, actually in North America. In North America, before Christopher Columbus ever sailed the ocean blue in uh, 1492. 14, yeah, 1492. I haven't studied this stuff in a while. So... Excuse me if I'm a little rusty on the whole 1492 thing. 1492. Yeah. Yeah. 1492. And if I'm wrong, just put it in the comments. I'm dumb and I know it. Um. And I have a lot of friends that know it too. But, anyways. And some teachers. They know it as well. But. Um. Yeah. You know why why Native Americans are called Indians? Because Christopher Columbus thought he was in India. That's reason. Um, I'm sorry. Reason number three. Three. I I count in sign language when I count on my hands. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if I do this, that's three. It's not just two, but with my thumb out, it's three. If I do this. It's probably that but anyways guys this is three okay reason number three hang on sorry about that I got an alert uh, dude perfect just uploaded a video uh, metal detector battle okay anyways guys he was looking for India. That's just dumb. He, he, he way undershot. By, like, I mean, like, way undershot. Like, he was going for India. However, he ended up on the opposite side of the globe. What the heck? The dude landed at Plymouth Rock on his third trip over here. And everybody makes him out to be this great, awesome, amazing person. Even though he's really not. They make him out to be this great, awesome, like, amazing person. He found America. Yay, yay, yay. Let's have a parade for him. For getting lost. He gets a parade for being lost. Leave Erickson. Leave... leave. Okay, Leif Erickson. I know it's a weird name, Leif, but Leif Erickson. Hang on. I, I think it's L E I F. Leif Erickson. That's not how you spell it. Who discovered America? I hate Siri. Anyways, guys. Um, that's. I, I don't even need Siri. Leif Erikson. Leif Erikson. Discovered America. He hit Nova Scotia. He should be the one getting a parade. However, he is more underrated, underappreciated, than Hagar the Horrible. The funniest Viking ever. I mean, one of the funniest comics ever. Only, the only comics that I find better are Pearls Before Swine and Pickles. 
Now those are good comics. Pearls Before Swine, Pickles, then Hagar the Horrible. Those are my three favorites. I mean, they're really good. I have trouble not laughing when I read Hagar the Horrible. It's pretty funny. But, guys, I mean, like, what? Christopher Columbus didn't even discover America. It wasn't him. I mean, obviously the Indians, Native, I'm, I'm sorry, Native Americans. I went to the festival this year. Uh, the Native American Festival at Moundville in Tuscaloosa. However, I did find out it is not Tuscaloosa. It's Tuscaloosa. Apparently. And Losa means black. It's not racist. I am not being racist. Um, but... And, uh, or Oklahoma, what, whatever part in that word is weird, that's Indian, Native American, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, whatever part of that word that is Native American means red, so that, that's why, you know, the Sooners are red and not like blue or green or yellow or you know. Anyways, you get the point. And now I'm just ranting about random stuff. Anyways, they're called Indians because he thought he was in India. He missed North America and found Oh Mexico. And 400 years before him, so in the 10th century, I guess? I don't know. Maybe the 11th century, because this is the 21st century, so... Yeah, the 11th century. I can't, I can't say, like, it just... It feels weird to say that, but the 11th century, Leif Erikson found America. He found it 400 years before Christopher Columbus did. So, like, four, like, literally four centuries before. Like, what? Like, really? And then... Leif Erikson gets a statue in Nova Scotia. And that's it. He doesn't get a parade. However, we celebrate a parade for, for a dude that got lost. It's just, it makes no sense, guys. But, to be honest, I, I think that... I think... Leif Erikson should... Leif... Okay, I think Leif Erikson. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right, Leif Erikson should get a parade and not Christopher Columbus. That's the that's the whole point of this video. I could have made this like literally a 10 second video and just saying Leif Erikson should get a parade instead of Christopher Columbus and been done. But I had to rant. I'm bored and needed to rent about something, needed to speak about something. So, and I'm not bored anymore because I gotta research this and see what else Christopher Columbus did that was dumb. Oh, oh, I, I know another thing that he did. So his, his, uh, his ship was the size of this room, probably. Probably the size of this room. In China, they were using ships that were ten times the size of this house. And this is a sizable house. Like, this is a... I mean, like... This is a normal size house. And, like, two stories. An attic. And it's pretty wide. Pretty wide. In China, they were using ships ten times the size of this house. However, he decided to use a ship to three ships. To carry 40, 45, 40, I don't know, 40 to 50 people, or 50 to 60 people on each ship in a ship the size of this room that I'm in. And this is not a very large room. Actually, it's probably the size of a school classroom. Like, I mean, and a school classroom isn't quite as big as this room. But, like, just go to a school classroom 
and see that and be like, this is a really small room. He was taking 50, 60, 70, even sometimes, like, even probably 70 people in each boat. Like, they had no bathrooms. Uh, I doubt they had any windows. It was like a three-month trip. Three-month trip? Would you like to go three months without using the toilet? Because I wouldn't. And, I mean, they probably did have some sort of toilet, but they could have made it so much easier if they had a China-sized ship. I mean, like, what? That's that's a no-brainer. I mean, it's, it's just dumb, to be honest. Christopher Columbus is dumb to me. It has been for quite a while. But I'm not going to complain because I get a day off of school. So, no complaints here. But Leif Erikson... Should be getting a parade. Should not be Christopher Columbus. I'm just saying. Guys, that's going to be all for today. It's going to be all for this video. I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Yo!